In the series of videos, we have been discussing about the developmental biology, covering cleavage, blastocyst formation, and implantation. If you want to watch that videos first, the links are in the description. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing about the estrogen signaling during implantation. To start this pathway, we see at the very top of this pathway is estrogen, the key hormone. Estrogen signals through two main receptors, labeled here as ER alpha and ER beta, located in the cytoplasm. These receptors play crucial roles in translating estrogen signals. We see ER alpha gets activated in response to estrogen and undergoes a process called dimerization, where two ER alpha molecules pair up to form what we call as homodimer, an ER alpha ER alpha complex. Similarly, on the other side, ER beta also dimerizes independently upon activation. This results in homodimer called ER beta and ER beta. But there is more to the story, where we get the heterodimerization. ER alpha and ER beta can pair up to form the heterodimer, creating an ER alpha ER beta complex. Once the dimers, whether ER alpha ER alpha or ER beta ER beta or the heterodimer ER alpha or ER beta are formed, they move towards the nucleus of the cell. Inside the nucleus, these dimerized complex act as transcription factors, binding to specific DNA sequences. Here they regulate the expression of several crucial genes, including MUC1, LIF, VEGF, integrin beta 3, and the progesterone receptor. Each of these genes plays an essential role in implantation. First, we have the MUC1, which forms the protective uterine lining, so acts as anti-adhesive barrier. But when the implantation process kicks in, first we have the MUC1 clearance where MUC1 is removed off from the endometrium and then we get the controlled implantation. Second is LIF. It's critical for embryo implantation. It acts via STAT3 activation to mediate implantation process. Third is VEGF. It facilitates angiogenesis and vascularization. Fourth one is integrin beta 3 that mediates cell survival and migration. Fifth one is progesterone receptor which is the key for maintaining the pregnancy via uterine receptivity. And finally, the integrin beta-3 also mediates osteopontin binding that drives trophoblast activation, which in turn leads to controlled implantation. So these are the various signals that are mediated via estrogen during implantation. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting me, work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.